very soon. <laughs> Jesus is coming again. Judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. Tell me about it, bro. Sound like a little. Revelation 13. Tell me about it. I'd rather hear it from you. Revelation 13. Jesus said he's coming again. The judge coming. the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. There are a few little evidence that Jesus is coming again. Scientifically proven, is it, bro? Scientifically proven. Yeah, he's, a, he's, <laughs> he's just science. Fantastic. He's science. Yes. Fantastic. Scientifically proven. <laughs> Absolutely scientific people. Yeah. Bible, yes, absolutely. Yeah. You reckon? Absolutely, 100%. Here are a few different evidence. Oh, look at all the signs. You know, atheism is Indeed, not real. Maybe you have a point. Atheism is not real. Well, atheism you know. Atheism isn't real. So that's not real. There's no such thing as atheism. It's just denying Jesus. That's all they are. So denying things. their own God. That's it. That's the whole atheism. It's I was like, that. I didn't believe in Jesus until recently myself. See all the signs here now, you know. Yeah. And the Bible says if you're not a, if you're if you're not a follower of Jesus, you're a follower of the devil. The devil. Yeah. The devil is the father of all your life. He's your father. So we need to turn from the devil to Jesus. Simple okay, as that. I hear you, bro. Thank and you. He says in these last days, you know, any mockers and scoffers, any mockers and scoffers in these last days, and they won't believe. It's like it's like not, uh, hello. It's like Noah's ark. Noah told them all the flood was coming, but they didn't believe. Thank you, brother. Thank you, brother. Thank you. <laughs> Don't believe it. Well, I've got Simon, he's got freedom. And when a heart breaks, oh, it don't break even. And his best days will be some of my words. He finally met a girl that's gonna put him first. No, I, I'm out of here's no trouble sleeping And when a heart breaks, so oh, it don't break even Cause what am I gonna do when the best part of me is always you? What am I supposed to say I'm all choked up in your world? I was on 9, I was taking 9,000 milligrams of lyrics there. Wow. And uh, walking the walls. Uh, Saying, open her eyes. She stopped me, basically. Yeah. Uh, well. She took me away from the people that were just used me because I was making money every day. And she took me away from all that. Uh, How are you guys managing at the moment? Coming up near Christmas, it's getting quite cold out. I said, um, yeah, we were, we were managing grand up to a month ago. We took a crack. Yeah, we thought we'd have a couple of times. Yeah, I mean, it was. Everyone just got from there, yeah. No, we both, uh, you know, we're on. You know, you both, you, you think you have you, you know it all till I grabbed you by the ankles and I could feel it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And, um, but I know we're at the early stage where we can stop. Take a suitcase, I'll take the blame And I'm trying to make sense of what little remains But oh, and you left me with no love No love to my name And I'm still alive, but I'm barely breathing Yeah.
I struggle with feelings, yeah, telling people my feelings. Why? Still. Why? Because it's hard, I just don't like it. Why? Because you have a sound in that you want to just like let people think that like you have I'm this feeling. Right. I'm all right. I'm a hard man. Not hard man. Not but hard man. Everything's all right, but yeah. really inside you're yeah. broken. Yeah. You keep a lot of feelings to yourself. Yeah, I you would. No, not as much as I'd like it. It's down to being institutionalised. Is it, tell me a little bit about yourself, bro. Just a brief outline. I lost my parents when yeah. I was a kid and threw a fire. I was only four. Yeah. Watched my little brother die. Sure. And my mum and my dad die. Sorry, then... Hi. Yeah. Uh, are we? We're, we're only going to be a minute. We're just doing a vlog for a homeless magazine. Yeah. Oh, okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's just a social no, thing. Just, just Sorry. Okay, yeah, okay, yeah. Thank you, thank you. And that's the guy that they're trying to irritate the homeless as usual. Where they never give us a break and they're always in our face. Well, she was that's it, right? Yeah, yeah, but like, yeah. Yeah. yeah, but there's other guys that aren't. And look, they yeah. should look across the road there and see what's there, look. Like, you know? I just want to say to you, so, so, yeah. yeah. so, hello? Emma. And why am I on the street? Emma, what? Tell us a little bit about yourself. Uh, my mum and dad broke up when I was a very, very young girl and I got lost. I, I had very, very good friends growing up and we loved parties and loved raves and loved all that. And I never wanted that to change because that's, I felt accepted. And acceptance for me is a big word more than love. I hate all them and acceptance. I want to make people feel accepted no matter what they've done because I don't like to make them feel unwanted because I know what it feels like. And it's horrible. I'm actually going to get a bit emotional, but I don't mind, right? I know, it's all right to cry. Really, like, if you don't cry, there's something wrong with you. How old are you, Emma? I'm 36. 36, and you're the partner of... Shane Bradley. Shane. Yeah, Shane, Shane yeah. just, you know, we made hey, sure... How yeah. you, brother? 36. 36, the same. Same month. Yeah, yeah, well, We met each other in a, in, in a hostel, and um, we never, like, you know, I was going to... I go, I go to school. I go to um, the drug school because I was going, I got cop rather than pennies, very, very high. Um, only starting to take all the hardcore drugs two years ago to a fella I was going now with that went, went pear-shaped, so I am right. homeless, right? right? I gave up everything for him because I wanted to be accepted, right? That's all it was. Feelings, running for feelings, and same pattern. All <laughs> different fellas, same pattern. You know, I, I was looking for something that I never felt off, that I never got off my mother. She left me when I was 10, okay? My father reared me, he's my backbone, right? But never showed me the way of life, it was just, that's all, and I got lost. I got lost away, I made, I got a lot of gay friends, started doing a lot of other types of drugs, doing mad stuff, sex parties, you know, just accepted. I was looking for acceptance. I wanted to feel accepted, right? Then I got to the point where I was ex getting accepted for the, in the wrong way. This is only going back last year. I ended up in a coma five times. I did. Right, once, but once I'm kind of on purpose because I woke up going, fuck, I'm awake, but I was enjoying that. Because I didn't want to be, uh, be like, being in being reality is tough. It's like, it's harder being in reality when you get older. But there is. Yeah. But there is choices and there is help out there, but it is very hard to be honest. It is very hard to be honest and the guilt eats you up. That's why people do drugs, to suppress their feelings. You have a great awareness about oh, understanding about your own drug problem. Yeah, I do. Have you been able to do it in constructive and, you know... I don't drugs. believe in myself and that's crazy, isn't it? I don't believe in myself. I know I'm a good person. Right. I just really, really am very hard on myself. 
I rather have, I rather have taught him and Brian. I don't like stop being.